I was idly thinking of an idea. What about captains? I could go talk to captains. I do a talk show uh, uh, on television. I was sort of intrigued by talking. And, uh, and so uh, I began to put together the concept of the idea, reaching out to these two gentlemen and the others to see if they would uh, accept my presence. And uh, then I needed to get funding. And then uh, discovered that uh, the funding, as limited as, as it was, wouldn't encompass the amount of traveling by air that I had. And on a cold call to a uh, Canadian uh, uh, aircraft company, Bombardier, the uh, CEO, and it's in the film, um, says, uh, I'm a fan, I'm an aeronautical engineer the Cubs of Star Trek, and I'm now CEO of the company. I'll lend you an airplane for the period of time you need. And the amount it would have cost to fly around was our total budget. So we got it for free, and I was able to make the film. And it evolved in talking to these two guys, for example. I didn't know what they were going to say, what they were going to do. I had some ideas of where I would like to place it, so it would be interesting. But I had no idea what anybody was going to say, and nor any idea that in the process of which I would have an epiphany, which became part of the film, it gives the film some progression, and, uh, and the film became a happening, as is, I think, the best of documentaries. What was the epiphany? The epiphany, <laughs> the epiphany was my realization after talking to everybody, was that I held a defensive attitude to defend myself against what I thought to be derision by people who would say, be me upset. Or, oh, let's start to start laughing. I don't know, why not? And I began to understand what my attitude had become because of people like uh, the captain 